Hey everyone, Keith here at Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video here, I want to talk about some of the prep work that I do before writing a, a blog post, or sometimes I do this, this work after writing the post. Now, in this case, what I'm doing is I'm writing a post. Um, I want to share a post on a high authority site that lists about 50 or so um, Facebook pages in the raw food niche. And the reason why, like, first of all, that I'm putting it on a, an authority site is that when we post content on an authority site, we have the ability to gain rankings a lot quicker. And the reason why I'm choosing 50 is because I want to put a lot. I want to do a lot of research. I want to spend a lot of time on this. I want so this something to, this post to be something that um, is worth sharing, is worth reading, is worth saving to read later. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to put a lot in there. And another added bonus of this, another feature is that um since the content is going to be um linking to other people's Facebook pages, if they have Google Alerts set up um for the names of their business or their brand or their Facebook pages, they they're going to find my content and the the odds of them sharing that content are pretty high. So all in all, this is going to be a really good piece of content. I think that's going to last a long time in the search results and um, be a pillar blog post um, for years to come. So uh, I'm going to put a lot of effort into it, and I know that it's going to pan out, and there's going to be a lot of shares and a lot of engagement and um, a lot of value for people. So what I want to do here is um, the first step, I want to find... Um, a keyword, a Google suggest keyword that I can use um, in the title of the post. Whatever, you know, these are Google suggest key phrases based on the term raw food. So raw food diet, raw food recipes. And what we can pull from this is a lot of long tail keywords. So we can raw food diet for puppies, for example. But that doesn't necessarily mean, a lot of people say that because they exist in, Google, in the Google suggest list, that there's a lot of searches for them. That's not necessarily the case. And just because they don't exist in the Google Suggest doesn't mean there's a, there isn't a lot of um, searches or that there isn't any. And just because there isn't any today doesn't mean there isn't going to be any next month. But this does provide a good rule, of, I mean, a good good measure of the possibility of getting traffic for a particular long long tail. A lot of people that suggest this method to use Google Suggest for keyword research, they'll actually grab two or three different long tails and kind of merge them together to create their own. And that, that could be a very effective approach too. And what I end up doing with the Google Suggest key, for key phrase that I find, I use it in the title of the in, in the title of the blog post, which is as far as I'm concerned, the most important element for SEO. And with that key phrase in the title, there's a higher chance of that um, piece of content um, index getting indexed in the search results on the, in, the, in the top spots, especially if there is no existing content um, in the top spots with that exact key phrase. All right, so with that said, what I'm going to do here is find two piece, two Google Suggest keywords that I'm going to end up using, one for a blog post and one for a video that I published to YouTube. In that video on YouTube, I'm going to end up um, incorporating into the blog, embedding right into the blog post that I create. So then I, I can potentially rank for two long tails. Um, one one for the key phrase and one for the YouTube video and one for the blog post. So here we go. We're going to start with um, um, it's again it's about uh, a list of raw food Facebook pages. So what I'm going to do is start searching for anything to do with raw food and Facebook. And what I come up with here, so I have there's some people looking specifically for raw food Facebook pages. All right, so let's just take a look deeper to see if there's any. Anything longer than that? No, there isn't. It doesn't look like they'd be showing up. So, okay, let's see here. Let's see if we switch it up a little bit. Let's go Facebook raw food. Okay. Raw food diet. Facebook. Hmm. So looks like raw food Facebook pages is a good start. 
Let's see what the search results are for that. All right, so we got raw food Facebook pages, and then what it does is list a bunch of faces, uh, Facebook pages related to raw food, which is great. Um, but I think, I think still, if um, if there's an article specifically that includes this title, I think that'd be a great start, and that'd be something that's very good for um, that it could out, potentially outrank all these all all these pages here, and then I can list some of these within my within my article all right so that's a good one for for the blog post now let's come up with something for the video okay I'm gonna see what shows up for raw food diet and Facebook okay just raw food diet Facebook I can convert that into a title for sure All right, so there's nothing in the top results that show raw food diet, except for this one, raw food diet, and then Facebook. Um, so yeah, I can probably get a video in the top results here if I use this in the title of it. All right, so now to come up with actual titles, I'm going to, since I'm creating 50, there's going to be 50 of them, um, what I'll do is come up with a title of something like, 50 raw food Facebook pages worth liking. Now I'm going to put a word within here. Um, let's see. Impactful, maybe? Let's see. Define. Something strong, a strong word. So impactful, having a major impact or effect. So yeah, I think I like that. So we'll go to, we'll call it impactful. And I'll make sure that that's all I provide is impactful raw food pages on Facebook. Now for the for the video, um, I'm going to be shooting a screencast video just like you see here, and I'm going to actually scroll through and actually have a look at some of those um, some of those Facebook pages. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, so there was raw food diet. Facebook is the keyword. And so I'm gonna add pages to that and so maybe I'll put must see 50 must see. Big wheel. Very important person, big wheel. Yeah, let's go with that. Big wheel. Where I got for for now. Thanks a lot for watching. And again, this is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Have a great night.